down a rhythm track and to do a chord over a hundred times, to them was frustrating too. And these sessions were not going smoothly. In a famous rock and roll moment, the late D.D. Ramone claimed Phil held a gun up to his head during the sessions. Some Ramones say it never happened. He never pulled a gun out of D.D. D.D. had a, uh, a childlike, vivid imagination. D.D. was a horrible, horrible human being. And when you put two horrible human beings who were blitzed on booze and, in D.D.'s case, heroin, into a studio situation, that's going to that's gonna be a bad combustion. Uh, I ended up having a heart attack at the end of that. When f after Phil and I had a had a real battle over uh, what he was doing or not doing, and I know Phil felt guilty about that, and that's too bad because I love Phil and I love him and I loved him then. Phil slipped back into a reclusive life again for much of the 80s and 90s. During this time, Phil and a woman he'd known for years began a relationship and had twins together, Nicole and Philip Jr. About a year after Janice had moved into the house, uh, I had approached my father asking him as to when their anniversary was, because I had assumed they had gotten married at one point after Philip and Nicole had, were born. And his reply to me is, how do you know we were ever married? And I said, I didn't know. I don't really care. I just wanted to get you an anniversary card. And that was it. Phil was devoted to his younger twins and was devastated when Philip Jr. died at the age of nine of leukemia. Through most of this period, Phil was rarely seen, but briefly came out of seclusion in 1989 when he was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. When the evening was over, Phil Spector walked away and tried once again to slip into obscurity. In the nearly 45 years since he produced his first single, Phil Spector has had more than 30 certified hits, each with his own distinct sound. He's a bona fide legend in the business. As far as rock and roll is concerned, Phil Spector is at the absolute handful of people at the top of the pantheon. But over the last two decades, Spector has lived the life of a virtual recluse. Little has been heard from him. That changed on February 3rd, 2003. Phil Spector, the superstar record producer who was behind the likes of uh, the Beatles, Tina Turner, just to mention a couple, is being held for investigation in a murder. At 5 in the morning, Phil's chauffeur heard gunshots ring out at Spector's castle-like Los Angeles mansion, and he called 911. When the police arrived, they found the body of a 40-year-old B-movie actress in the foyer. Her name was Lana Clarkson. I couldn't believe it. I felt to me he's no murderer. Uh, he just doesn't, he just doesn't, to me, have it in him to do that. Spector was arrested and released from jail on $1 million bail, pending a complete investigation. He claims to be innocent. Uh, they ransacked his home and took computers, took weapons, whatever they could find that might be relevant. Uh, they performed an autopsy. Uh, they did gunshot residue tests. They've done everything that any good department does when investigating a possible homicide. Scott Robb of Esquire magazine interviewed Phil just weeks after the actress's death. As far as Phil's concerned, he's exonerated. I mean, he has not been charged. He was arrested and released. Uh, no charges were filed against him. And of course, from the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department, from their point of view, they're being as careful as they can possibly be. Uh, but from Phil Spector's point of view, they're getting ready to frame him. In another rare interview given to the London Telegraph just weeks before his arrest, he claimed to have a bipolar personality and said, I have devils inside that fight me. You know, there's a history of, of mental illness in the family. And, uh, you know, it's something that, that uh, I don't think he's necessarily ashamed of. Uh, he told Tom Wolf in, in an article back in the mid-60s that he was paying $600 a week to a psychiatrist then. Some friends are standing by Phil, saying Spector had turned his life around in recent years. He came out of this 